Hello, and welcome to the Irresistible Marketing Pod, the podcast that wants you to fall in love with talking about your brand and your offers. I'm your host, Issa Gauchi, your marketing confidence cheerleader and owner of the M. Issa Messaging Digital Marketing Agency for Small Business Baddies. Today's episode is a recording of a real-life marketing confidence cheerleading session where we discuss how to craft accessible messaging for an esoteric offer. For all my witchy entrepreneurs, my healers, my coaches, my astrologers, my unconventional business owners out there, I think you'll find this one super duper helpful. And for everyone with more traditional businesses, I actually think you'll find this one super helpful as well. Because many people have a problem we could help them with our products or services. However, but, 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 a lot of them do not know that they have that problem or that it is urgent that they fix that problem because they are not aware of how it's negatively affecting them. They don't realize that something better is out there. They do not realize that something better is an option that is available to them, preferably through working with you. And that's the job of marketing for all of us. Our marketing needs to help our people understand the problem that they are having, how life could be so much better without that struggle, and how our offer solves that problem for them. And a well-structured launch will take your audience from problem unaware to identifying the problem and how it's harming them, to awareness of the possibility of a better future, a life without that problem, or at least a life without that problem wreaking so much havoc. And then to familiarity with our solution for how we'll solve that problem for them with our offer. Yes, even if you are a healer or a coach or an energy healer, that is the job of marketing for for all of us, for all types of business. The job of marketing is to make our offer accessible and appealing. And we do that through empathizing with and inspiring our particular aligned ideal clients. And no, it could help everyone is really not effective marketing because if we're just talking to everyone, how would any individual and everyone know you're talking to them specifically? So in this episode of the Irresistible Marketing Pod, the absolutely fabulous High Vibe Heather and I structured messaging for each stage of her energy healing program launch in this session. And that's right, I want you all to note that this call lasted an hour tops, and we sorted out incredibly powerful magnetic messaging for her entire launch in under one hour. That is what is available to you when you work with moi or another expert marketing director that's able to get into the weeds of your business, but more on that later. Anyhow, so Heather was generous enough to allow me to record her marketing confidence cheerleading session so I could share it with you all. And for that, I am immensely, immensely grateful. Here is the call. Hello, Heather. Welcome to your cheerleading session. Um, Since we are recording this for the podcast and I remembered to hit record this time, do you mind doing a brief introduction of who you are and your amazing business for the good people listening? Yes. Hey, Isa. Thanks for having this session with me. My name is High Vibe Heather. I do energy healing and human design services. And my goal with that is to help people to uh, live into their truest essence and heal from the things that are keeping them kind of stuck. Beautiful. So we start every marketing confidence cheerleading session with First, checking in with what kind of support will feel most helpful for you today. So the options are ice cream or chili pepper. So ice cream is, you know, I'm having a little bit more of a sensitive day. I'd like some extra validation, some please give it to me with a spoonful of sugar type situation. And then chili pepper is give me all of the tough love. Um, So... (laughs) What kind of support are you feeling um, would be most supportive for you today? Yeah. So I know last time I had a session with you, I uh, requested ice cream because I was feeling real tender that at that moment. But today I'm in the mood for some chili pepper. I got to see both sides of Issa. And um, I just feel like I'm in a place where I can handle it. Excellent. Um, 
And what is your intention? What it would be most helpful for you for us to tackle in today's session? Yes, so I am currently working on a workshop offer um, as a lead magnet or a, like an opt-in kind of thing in order to build up my email list. And so the workshop is called Emotional Alchemy and it's walking people through the the process of like alchemizing their emotions, like how do you actually process through emotions in a in a healthy way? Um, and I would love support around like getting that offer out into the world. So I've like written the outline out, so I know everything I'm going to talk about. And now my next steps, um, like I even made my like opt-in page and my thank you page. But now I'm at the place where I like have to um, create posts around it to promote it and um, an email sequence and all of that. So yeah, that would be great. That is so exciting. And what offer is this going to be funneling people into? Yeah. So this is going to be for energy healing. Cool. And tell me a little bit about um, energy healing. Is it like um, a one-on-one -on -one thing? Is it a group thing? Is it you sign up for a single appointment? Tell me a little bit about, about the structure of what we're funneling people into. Yeah. So um, my energy healing sessions currently are one-on-one -on -one, and I can either do a excuse me, like a virtual session where I use a modality called the motion code and like I connect with someone's subconscious and we help to release um, emotions trapped in their body. I also do Reiki, um, but then I have in-person sessions where I do both of those, but then I also do sound healing. So my work is in the energy healing and actually in human design too is geared towards one-on-one. -on -one. So this is going to be new for me because, uh, you know, a workshop is more of like a group container. And so, um, yeah, it's just to like give people a taste for what working with me is like and give them some tools and resources for supporting themselves. Very cool. Um, so tell me a little bit about who is the person you're hoping to funnel or to come to the workshop and then funnel into your one-on-one -on -one energy healing services. Um, yeah. Who's the persona or personas that you're like, yes, I would want this person to come. Yeah. Um, so interestingly, I don't know if this is just because this is who I am, but I tend to work with a lot of business owners, like entrepreneurs. And maybe that's just because that's my world. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, the people I have contact with and as a four, six in human design, I, in my, I bring people in through being like my network, through my social life, um, connecting with them in that way. And so it happens to be just like people I I know in that realm that I tend to end up working with. Okay, awesome. So business owners, um, just because I know you a little bit, I'm going to yeah. extrapolate some stuff and you tell me yes or no. Okay. So I'm guessing um, probably mostly femmes. Or yeah, I have worked with um, men as well, but yeah, uh, by far and above mostly females yes okay and I'm guessing all genders all bodies all ethnicities races yeah orientation all are welcome here if you have emotions yes <laughs> you are you are welcome to learn how to process them <laughs> okay and is this person already someone kind of interested in like spirituality emotions the body like are they into astrology or they have they heard of human design? Is this something that they're already into or would this be kind of like an introduction to <laughs> this world of what some yeah. people might say? No. But I feel like being um, the process of like emotional alchemy, working, learning how to process through your emotions is really open to anyone. Like you don't necessarily have to be somebody who 
um, is already familiar with human design and energy healing. This would be like a taster, like an introduction, like you said, to figure out like, oh, that's what that means. That's because some, some people might have an idea in their head of what energy healing means. And then when they have this experience, be like, oh, that's not this weird, complicated thing I thought it was. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to throw a little chili pepper on it. So there is a difference between my services could help everyone. Okay. Ideal clients are because it's really hard to talk to everyone at once in marketing. Um, You have to go through all these different nuances and situations and circles, and then it makes your messaging so broad. No one understands that you're talking to them specifically. Okay. So I totally hear you. Yes processing emotions, energy to healing could, could, it could help everyone. Yeah. Who do you specifically want to come in that door and be in this? I love that you phrase it like that. Who do I want to go in that door? Um, yeah. So I do really love working with female business owners who are themselves trying to work through their own shit so that they can show up in a better way in order to like really bring their magic out into the world. And um, a lot of times we don't know what it is that is kind of keeping us from really showing up. And so I want to help them, those people in specific. All right. Yes. Now, now we're getting to the gold. So this is going to really help your messaging when you put out the information about this workshop and then explain your other offers. Okay. So we have a woman business owner who Mm -hmm. is maybe I'm going to guess probably has some interest in kind of alternative healing. Um, Maybe they're into astrology. Maybe they go get um, acupuncture or um, just thinking of our Heather, for y'all listening, is also in Portland, and we were in a local community of witchy uh, femme entrepreneurs together. Yeah. So um, I, I normally wouldn't do this kind of divination with a client if I didn't already know you so well. Um, but I'm guessing that they are already kind of like, you'd probably be friends, right? Yeah, I mean, that tends to be who I work with, people I know. Okay. Or like, if you're not friends yet, you probably would be if you got to mm-hmm. like, had interaction. Okay. So maybe you can picture a person who you're like, they need this identity or this energy healing. They need to unblock. Maybe you like, you don't have to tell me, but just picture this person in your mind. I bet you have okay. one. Like okay. you probably know one where you're like, wow, you really need to unblock some emotions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They probably have not connected the dots yet. That there's some connection between blocked emotions and how they are showing up or not showing up in their business and results from that. Okay. So if they haven't connected to the dots, the dots that these issues for me to show up in my business in a way that's going to get me what I want and so that I can authentically be who I want to be in my business. What's happening in their life? What's happening in their business when they don't understand this is a result of blocked emotions? What might they be seeing right now? Mm. Um, just like a lot of changing their mind around what they're really wanting to offer. Um, a lot of uncertainty. Um, just like kind of throwing different things at the wall, trying to figure things out, um, feeling kind of like ungrounded in general and not like really confidently moving forward with what they have. Okay, so they're having some indecisiveness, some indecision. Um... I'm going to imagine some things. Maybe they're trying to get every 10 step template and follow everyone else's advice and they're getting confused and overwhelmed and shutting down. Um, Are they having some self-blame when like maybe they aren't getting the sales they want or like internalizing it a little bit perhaps? 
yeah, like what's wrong with me? I'm not good enough. Maybe I, I thought I, this is what I wanted to do, but it's not working out. Um, yeah. Okay. Why is this template I bought not working for me when they said it makes everyone else $10,000 in 10 days? Like, yeah. Okay. So trying to, so maybe a disconnection from their own decision-making process and trying to outsource decisions, which is leading to a lot of like indecisiveness and waffling and feeling just sort of buffeted about by the winds of business rather than yeah. really grounded. Okay. Okay, cool. So that picture we just painted right now would be the first stage of your marketing. Okay. So um, I like, I'm going to borrow some language from my business mentor, Sarah Beyer. She has a okay. launch alchemy framework. Um, and there are four phases. And these are pretty similar if you look at any digital marketing um, sort of launch frameworks out there. But I really like this one because she connects it to the emotions. Okay. So the first phase is we are empathizing with our person. We are empathizing with our person, um, building connection and interest. Okay. And so in this phase, we're getting people to engage in your content and what you're saying and start paying attention. And we're kind of dropping some hints that something is coming. So um, another way to say this is they are problem unaware. So okay. We're really talking about this indecisive feeling, feeling like you're outsourcing decisions and buffeted about and like kind of can't, can't find your center in business, mm -hmm. um, feeling like some stuck energy, maybe going between like being really frantic and overworking and then feeling overwhelmed and shutting down. Um, you can kind of really speak to the emotions of like what this person is experiencing. Um, and then we're going to transition into phase two of the launch, which is share slash, ins oh wait, inspire. Yeah, it's inspire. Okay. We're going to inspire them by giving them a vision of how it could be another way. Hmm. How would your life, how would your business, how would your sales be different if you didn't have to outsource decisions? You knew how to resource your um, authentic truth. And your what you your authentic self wants to do in any given situation. Okay. When you just had access to that at all times. You didn't have to check it with five people or five mentors before you made a decision. Okay. How much energy would that free up? So yeah. Phase two, we are inspiring them of how it could be a different way. Okay. And in this phase two we are inviting people to your workshop. Oh, okay. What do you want this for yourself? You're going to want to come to this workshop where we're going to learn how to, or where we're going to give you an introduction to unblocking your emotions. So you know how to, you have access to your own internal decision-making. Yes. So, okay. Phase three is we're going to share, and this phase starts at your event. So this, okay. you're having trouble making decisions in your business. <laughs> you're feeling stuck and frantic and buffeted about and outsourcing your business decision-making to whatever mentor or um, thing you see on the internet that you impulse buy that makes you think maybe you'll finally have a sense of confidence in your decisions and authority and what you're doing. So there's another way. What if you had access to your own authentic internal decision-making system? And what if you could just free up all that energy you're spending being like, is this right? Is this not right? Who should I listen to? What conflicting advice should I follow? What if all of that energy you're spending on that you could use for other stuff? Okay. Um, and what I'm proposing how you get access to that is you clear blocked emotions. So this is, we're kind of connecting those dots in the share phase where like how you access your internal decision-making processes by clearing emotions. Phase four is your offer. So you're saying, here's how I know a way to unblock your stuck emotions. 
I do it through energy healing. Here's how you can work with me so we can unblock your emotions. And then in this phase four, where you're offering, you're letting them know about the paid offer. Um, you're letting them know the brass tacks of how to work with you. So what are your sessions like? How do you sign up? How long is the engagement? Um, how much does it cost? Are there payment plans? Just kind of all, all this stuff. Okay. So a lot of people is they jump right to phase four. They're like, here's my offer. (laughs) Goodbye. And then they're like, wait, why didn't people sign up? And it's because, okay, so if you think about it like dating, normally on the first date, I mean, sometimes you're wasted in Vegas and who knows, maybe you get married on the first date. Usually (laughs) that's how it happens, right? Like normally you have to have some rapport. You have to build connection. You have to communicate. You have to get to know each other. You have to build intimacy and trust. Um, So trust is a big one whenever we're making an investment in terms of like money or even time. Like if if I'm going to invest in working with someone one-on-one, that's an investment in that is a reflection of my trust in this provider, right? So we use our marketing to build that trust. We're helping them get to know us. We're interacting with them. We are talking with them. We're letting them know we care about them and their problems. And we specifically know how to help them. They are specifically invited into this offer. I made this offer for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I just talked a lot. Where would you like clarity? Um, Where are you still feeling unclear on, or would you like to get into more detail about how we promote this stuff? Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking, um, I have my outlines, like my framework, and then I was planning on like just pulling segments out of there to use in promotional, like materials so like you take this little idea and turn that into a post and but it sounds like it's a little more involved than that like it's like that is definitely a part of it but it sounds like I need to be building that rapport through um giving them the framework of of why like where they currently are how I can help them inspire them to how something could be different and then specifically inviting them so it's like I can use those parts but I have to be like intertwining them with this whole phase one through four process in order to like help them get the full picture it sounds like yeah yeah so um we're taking them on a journey so Mm -hmm. at the beginning um they are having these problems in their business, but they have not connected it to their stuck emotions, probably. Yeah. Maybe they have an inkling, but they kind of need you to like really draw the line between those dots. So um, so pre-workshop, we've got two phases. So first is, here's how you might be feeling right now. Okay. Like, if you are having, if you're really having a hard time making decisions in your business, we're really painting that picture of what it's like right now and building empathy, Mm -hmm. letting them know they're not alone. Like that is so powerful, right? If you have anything you've ever felt shame over, like, you know, that feeling of someone else's felt this too. Like, you know, that whole, like, I just felt my shoulders drop. (laughs) Like I just felt my jaw clench. Like I'm not alone in this thing. Yeah. Um, okay. So basically phase one is you are not alone. I've seen this before. I've helped people through it before. Okay. Phase two, it is possible for you to feel a different way. Really painting that vision of what it's like when you can really trust yourself to make your own decisions, which is huge, right? Mm -hmm. And that's not just going to serve you in business. That'll serve you in your whole life, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're painting Barbie's dream house of decision making. <laughs> the Barbie reference. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, so in these two phases, we are promoting your workshop. Mm-hmm. So phase one, we can kind of make it be like, make sure you're paying attention. Like we can build more, we can like make it less hard 
selling it in phase one, we can be like, have you experienced this? Let me know in the comments. Um, DM me if you want to like keep chatting about this. Drop a green heart if you've ever felt this way before. Like kind of stuff like that. Like inviting people to participate, yeah. inviting them in. I feel like um, me maybe sharing a personal story of like when I was feeling that way. Yeah. Like, like can you relate or something like that? Absolutely. That would be fantastic. Okay. Um, more personal stories. If if you want to like take stories of clients you've helped through it and want to like anonymize it a bit. Yeah. Um, that would be a great time for that for sure. Okay. okay. Got it. Phase two, um, we are inviting people to the workshop. So okay. phase two is we're painting Barbie's dream house. <laughs> Here's how it could be different for you. I want to introduce you on how it can be different to you. Come to this workshop. Okay. Here's how you sign up for the workshop. Here's how you get on the wait list, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Who should come to the workshop? Yeah. If you want to feel X, if you mm -hmm. want to free up energy over waffling over decisions, imagine, imagine what you could do with that energy instead. If you're just quickly yeah. make a decision and trust it. Imagine what else you could do with that freed up brain space and energy. If you want that for yourself, come to this workshop. Okay. Okay. Then we have the workshop. At the end of the workshop, we're like, do you want to go more in depth with this? Do you want to be supported? Do you want someone to help you unblock these emotions? Here's how you can keep working with me. Mm. And then after the workshop, we are starting to really connect those dots. Okay. Here's why your, your struggle to make decisions in your business, your struggle to trust yourself, your continual outsourcing of your wisdom to other authorities. Here's how it's tied to blocked emotions. And here's where we could really get into emotions that are commonly blocked, right? Yeah. And we could talk about anger. We could talk about grief. We could talk about unprocessed trauma. Maybe we could talk about um, figures in your life who might have made it unsafe for you to trust your own feelings. Um, we might talk about if you've ever been in an abusive relationship, mm -hmm. if you've ever had a narcissistic family member, <laughs> it would not be uncommon for you to be experiencing this kind of disconnect from yourself. Um, luckily, Luckily, it's possible to unblock these emotions. And then in phase four, we're like, and then it's, a, oh, sorry. So in, in this share phase, like here's some commonly um, emotions that might be blocked. Here's some reasons they might be blocked. There are ways to unblock these emotions. We can start talking about that. What happens when, how do you unblock an emotion? What happens when you unblock an emotion? How do you feel? How soon do you start seeing results? Phase four, so we make our, our paid offer. Do you want to unblock yourself? Do you want all this freed up energy? Do you want to feel connected to your inner wisdom and voice so you can make decisions? Okay, that's great. Work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Here's how you sign up. Okay. Here's, how it is. <laughs> Here's how long it is. Here's how much time it is on your part. Here, here's how you pay. Okay. So I guess phase three is the part where we're talking about reasons why you might be experiencing this, mm -hmm. um, what you might be experiencing. Um, because of this. And you can share a little bit more of more of that in the earlier phases if you'd like mm -hmm. um, but just keep in mind people probably are like I don't know what this has to do with this yet yeah yeah does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah just phase three was the part where I was feeling a little like uncertain yeah okay so do you, how do you feel now yeah the just knowing that that's the place where I need to start talking about like the the reasons why and start calling it out more so that people can start putting the dots together 
Yeah. And then in phase and three, identifying I'll, with it, I guess. Yeah. And I'd also start talking in that phase about like, how does energy healing unblock emotions? Like, how does it work? Okay. And are we doing energy healing in the group? Um, so yeah, I did a plan to walk people through like a whole like kind of meditation journey where they could have the experience. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like teaching them how to do it in real time. So first I would like talk about it, explain the whole process and then guide them through the process so that then when it was over, they would have this tool that they could go and use with themselves. Okay. Gotcha. In that case, in phase two, and we are like, what if there was, you could feel a different way, What if there was a better way, yeah. um, we start saying like, what if you knew how had tools hmm. to like clear away the noise and be able to hear what you actually want to do within yourself, yeah. come to this workshop and I will give you one of those tools. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. You get one of these tools completely gratis, completely free. Yeah. Then after we blow everyone's mind, we're like, do you want more tools like this? Do you want someone who actively helping you unblock? Here's my paid yeah. offer. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. There we go. Do you want more? <laughs> yeah. More tools and help work with me. Cool. Nice. Yeah. So like the way I like to think about it is like, you know, if you go in a nice grocery store and they have like cheese samples, like the fancy cheese samples, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Give me some, like, I'm going to buy it now. That's yeah. basically how your free event is going to function. It's yeah. like free samples of the fancy cheese. I'm just picturing my dad walking through Costco and calling it lunchtime. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> the way I like to think about this is like the samples are delicious. Even if you don't buy something, you're like, mm, that was a really good sample. And then if you want more of that, you can buy it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or you can just be cheap like my dad and just eat all the samples and then leave. <laughs> that happens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'd like, to, I think it's good to set expectations. Like this is definitely a free sample. I'm going to pitch you a paid service at the end of this. So you're welcome to come just so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What are your other questions? Hit me. Um. Okay. So I'm trying to decide um, because I've had different ideas around like, okay, do I just pre-record this so that people can like do it at home at their own, like whatever time, or do I like actually set a date for this and then have a live like workshop that everyone does together and I'm kind of undecided and I, I'm sure it probably doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, that's something that's been kind of like mulling around in my head. I personally think the live would be a great idea. Okay. Like people have an opportunity to actually interact with you, right? Like and ask questions or okay. leave comments, et cetera. Yeah. And then you can record it and make it available to other people who signed up, but couldn't like make the time. Okay. And then they can walk through it themselves. And I also have this idea, like if it is live, then people can, there's something powerful about doing this type of thing in a group because it's that like energy around of everyone there that tends to, um, yeah, just give you more of an experience, like helpable experience. Totally. And I think also because we're trying to funnel people to working with you personally, it's great. It will be great to give them like a chance to actually interact with you. Be like, this is what I'm going through. <laughs> okay. um, can you help with this? Or can I ask a question about this? And so yeah. it, it gives them, it's like the cheese sample. It's like, oh, okay. This is what it's like to like 
ask Heather a question or make a vulnerable share with Heather, you know? Yeah. Okay. So then with that, like how far out in advance would you do this whole sequence of phases come preparing up to a live event? Like one month, a yeah. week, like I, don't, I have no idea. So um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think like you haven't done much marketing yet. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it were me, I'd do a little longer ramp okay. up. Um, so you can really take your time in the phases. Okay. Um, yeah, like you could like I'd do it at least a month. Okay. And then each phase would be a week. Um yeah. you want to give yourself more time so that you can really be showing up in each phase and giving yourself a buffer. Um, you could do two two weeks for each phase. Um yeah. But like uh, one month at least would be ideal. Yeah, at least one month. Um okay. Yeah. Okay. That's helpful to know that one week per phase. Um to really like hit home the point I'm trying to make with all the different pieces of content. Um, and then I'm assuming probably a mix between like uh, video and written and whatever. Um, so for like, how do you actually promote it? Yeah. Okay. So Instagram is your main channel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I would pick what you'll actually do for how you show up. So okay. if, if you're, if I say like write a carousel and you won't do it, don't make that part of your plan. Okay. So how do you show up right now? What is the way you can show up? Yeah, I do um, reels or videos. I do like written posts with just like information, whatever. Yeah. Okay, great. So I would keep, I would do that, but like do it more. So you can even pre start prepping content now so that you can really be showing up, especially, yeah. okay. The most important time to show up is going to be the last few days of the last phase for like cart open. So okay. you're like, you might even give them like a time sensitive discount or like you can get this nice discount if you check out within a week or something like that, you know? And so you're like really ramping up um, or you can get like some bonus or some, something, some like thing to sweeten the deal um, for a limited time. To Even if it's just like a free workshop that I'm just like having people register for. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So so phase one, we're empathizing with the problem. Phase two, we are inviting them into the workshop by being like, there's another way that's better. Mm -hmm. Phase three starts at your workshop where we're like, okay, let's really talk about how to unblock the emotions, where blocked emotions come from and how energy healing can help, so help you do this. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want my help with this, if you want more of this, if you want to like really speed up your healing process, here's how to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Then the last phase is your offer, like really like, here's my offer. Here's what you can expect from it. Here's how much it costs. So what I would do is, um, right when your event ends, yeah. is maybe pick like some kind of thing to sweeten the pie that they can get. But if they sign up within one week. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So okay. Up within two weeks, so that and like it's gonna be mostly through like okay, I'll make an offer at the end of the workshop, mm -hmm. saying like okay, you for the next whatever seventy two hours or week, I'm leaving this yeah special, uh, offer open for you to work with me. After that, it'll return to my regular pricing. Okay. So I give, I make something extra juicy for the work workshop people. And then we're okay. still moving for another two weeks after that, where we're really getting into your offer. So we might like do like, um, I'm not saying you actually have to do this, but what I've Is done just through email then after for the people that have already attended. So yeah, I, what I often do is like something like if you attended my workshop and you buy the paid thing within 72 hours, okay. you can have 25% off 
or like you can get an extra bonus. Okay. And then since I'm still marketing, since I still have to do the yeah. share and offer phase, I might be, okay, so that was only open to the workshop for like participants, but yeah. for everybody else who wants in, who's been following along, okay, you can have a 10% discount, okay. but if you work out by this day, so that, um, so you, you don't have to do it that way, but I like to do some like a special offer for my workshop participants and then yeah. a special offer if you like check out by the end of my launch phase. Yeah. Um, some people will do it a little differently. They might be like special offer for workshop participants. And then you can only check out until the end of my launch phase and then the doors closed. Um, okay. So you can kind of pick like something to make it a little bit time sensitive to get like people in. Um, but the point is the times when it's most important to show up like really frequently are right before the special offers end. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cause you just want to be reminding people like, okay, last chance. Yeah. Um, so how are you, what mediums are you going to, to make these offers? Is it through, uh, so it's after the workshop is closed sorry, after the workshop's completed. Yeah. Do you just, is it through email that you're like sending these or is it also on Instagram or? Before the like offer that's just open to workshop participants, I'd make sure I'd give them the information in the workshop. And then I personally like email that way, like not everybody can see it and you'll already have their email addresses probably mm -hmm. from signing up for the workshop. Um, for the offer open to everybody. Um, I do email and Instagram. Okay. So, um, you don't have to, if that's not how you normally communicate, if you like normally just communicate on Instagram, that's fine too. We just want to be reminding them a lot. I personally mm -hmm. like email because it's more like they subscribed. It's in their inbox or seeing it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if it were me, I would do email for the offer just open to the workshop participants. And like, I would announce it in the workshop and then offer it over email. And then the offer that's open to everyone, I would do Instagram and email. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah. That helps to bring a lot of clarity as to, you know, how to I uh, yeah, move forward with this because I would not have done any of this. <laughs> and I would have been like, oh shoot, why didn't it work out? I'm not really sure what I should have done different. But yeah, having the phases um really dialed in. So I'm, I'm working them through a specific journey is super helpful. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Okay. And how often are you posting now, would you say? Um, so <laughs> at this moment if I don't have something specific to talk about it's really random and scattered like I'll just go like a week without posting anything and then okay then if I think of something like oh I should post on that and then I'll randomly make a post so, yeah so that's why I was like I need to put together some sort of offer so that I have something to consistently post about Gotcha. Okay. So during these phases, I would love for you to be posting regularly. Yeah. That's so the I, don't, idea. I don't want to set an unrealistic goal for yourself. So if you can, uh, but what I might consider is starting to prep content now and kind of having yeah. it ready to post when you're in the launch. Yeah. That, that way. Was what I was thinking, I like, I was going to make myself prepare actually pretty much all the posts before I even started <laughs> because I don't have any sort of deadline as to when I want this thing to happen. Um, but I want it to be a like successful experience for myself so that I can feel encouraged by my <laughs> efforts. And so I want to do as much preparing ahead of time so that when it's time to go. I am just showing up effortlessly. That's, that's my idea behind it. Oh, I love that. Okay. So ideally you tell me if this is doable, you'd okay. be showing up and posting at least once a day for those four weeks. 
Okay. Yeah. And then like twice a day, right before your offers end. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 And that would be like the last week after the I do like, oh, so I do the tw twice a day, like the day my special offer is ending. So like, okay. Like I'll, I'll usually do like a morning, like offer ends tonight. And then a like, a P like I'll do like an AM and a PM. Like okay. Offers ending. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, up until then once a day. Got it. At least. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. If you want to really push yourself, you can show up, you can kind of have your prepared content and then maybe show up in your stories or like, um, oh, good idea. Yeah. yeah. I always forget stories. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's check in with your body. When I say I'm asking you to show up a lot more than you have been. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> um, I think the whole purpose of me doing this is to get comfortable and consistent with showing up. Mm -hmm. um, so I like it. It's like a nice challenge to help me build the discipline. Yay. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I just needed something to like focus on because I find if I don't have a specific offer or something that I want to share with people, then I don't know what to share because there's just like a random crapshoot, you know, gotcha. like, I'll, like maybe focus on a specific service for a little bit and try to promote that. But, hey. you know, that's just kind of one off and it's whatever. Yeah but I wanted to have something like bigger and have a purpose behind it to, yeah, build my email list so that like when I do send out my emails, there's more people to actually buy things from me. Gotcha. Okay. And then do you have a link to your email list and like your Instagram link in bio right now? Uh, I think, you know what? Um, I did, but I need to I took it out. I need to put it back in. Yeah. Okay. So your other assignment is, okay. um, when you show up in your marketing now, yeah, the thing you're going to ask everybody to do now is get on your email list. Okay. That's my call to action. Join yeah. Email list. Yeah. And we're going to, we're not just going to be like, join my email list. We're going to be like, <laughs> tips for or like if you want regular tools you can implement to keep your vibe high or whatever yeah we're gonna give them an incentive we're gonna be like here's what you're gonna get from being on my email list I'm giving you stuff on the email list <laughs> yeah. yeah I like that to keep your vibe high because I'm high vibe <laughs> okay got it okay cool um, so a few things I want to let you know about, I think this is your first like official launch, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm really seeing through. Yes. Okay. Um, a few things people run into. So okay. one is feeling awkward about repeating yourself is something I see a lot. Um, yeah. and I want to preempt this by letting you know, a very small percentage of your audience sees any one thing you post. Mm -hmm. So to, to you, it feels like you're repeating yourself. Yeah. To the people receiving it, it's often the first time they're seeing it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Second of all, since so we talked about, okay. okay. So like, you know, like the analogy of the relationship, normally you, we don't get married on the first date. Yeah. And normally we don't trust someone completely right off the bat. Okay. So how do we build trust? Right. We have repetition. They consistently show up. They consistently okay. communicate. They consistently yeah. do what they're, they're going to do. So part of marketing is building that trust with people. Your mm -hmm. consistency is building trust, their trust. Your repetition, your communication is being like, okay, well, Heather trusts her offer enough to be talking about it a lot, to be repeating it, to be showing up a lot. That makes my nervous system feel better about taking the leap to invest. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
okay, so we are showing ourselves to be trustworthy the more we show up and repeat. And we're making it easier for them to trust us by A, giving them more opportunities to see it and B, having that them reminded. Because you've probably had this experience, you see something Instagram and you're like, oh, that's cute, I want to buy it. And then your kid like tugs on your sleeve <laughs> or yeah, you got a phone call. Yeah. Your person or your dog breaks something and then you forget to buy it. And yeah. then if you see that ad again, when you have a moment, then you do buy it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. The other thing I want to let you know about is to plan to up your self-care. <laughs> okay. I love that. During the launch, it's kind of vulnerable. Mm-hmm. We're being really visible. We're putting ourselves out there. We're giving a lot of our energy. Um yeah depending on how great you are at dealing with uncertainty or a detachment from money outcomes, it can be kind of emotionally raw. Um, yeah. so it is for me and I've, I'm like, I've launched a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so plans, I would pre-plan, like, what are some struggles I'm likely to face just given my history? Am I likely to start wondering if people are going to come through. Am I going to start personalizing stuff? And then what do I need to do to kind of like pour the love into myself so that I can roll with it? Mm. Okay. Okay. I love that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, One thing I'm also going to borrow from my mentor, Sarah Beyer is checking in, maybe you need environmental support. Like, do you need to have co-working? Do you need a body double? Do you need to go work in a cafe? Do you, need, <laughs> do you need to put flowers on your desk? Do you need to beautify your space? Um, so what do we need environmentally so you can show up a lot? Okay. And then okay. are there any archetypes you want to look to that could be like, ah, yeah, that's my persona. I'm going to snap into when I'm showing up in the launch. Like I like to use tarot cards often, like Cool. Um, my tarot card persona for marketing confidence cheerleading is queen of wands. So, Ooh. yeah. So you can have some kind of fun with it. Like there have been times before where I'm like, I'm going to take Miranda Priestley, like from devil wears Prada. Cause I have to be tough today. And that's hard for a squishy Issa. So I'm just going to like call on this archetype to help me step into, um, the attitude I need to do to have to handle this. Okay. I like that. Yeah. And then of course being like, how do I make sure I'm sleeping enough, eating healthy foods and getting the water I need, getting the movement I need. So just kind of like getting really serious about the self-care and environmental support you need. Um, so that because we're asking you to be more visible than you're used to being right. (laughs) Yeah. Perfect. Any other questions? No, that was like super helpful, Lisa. I'm um, so happy to hear. I feel like I have a really like good um, template now to follow, to put this out there. If you could use some hands-on marketing help like this for your business, like you just heard Heather receive in this call, you are so invited to join the squad. The Squad is a creative community of excellently eccentric entrepreneurs for the CEO who is tired of going it alone and flying blind on marketing decisions. You get access to an on-demand expert marketing director, that's me, someone with more than a decade of experience of rapidly accelerating sales followings and turning good dreams into real life good times. Here's the deal with the squad. We will meet two times a month on Zoom, once for a mini marketing masterclass and business lab, where we'll get into your actual business to massively accelerate your marketing results through crafting messaging, looking at your data, structuring a launch or an ad funnel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever help you need, we will cover it. And once a month, we will also be meeting for a group marketing confidence cheerleading, kind of like what you just heard on this call, where I will coach you through whatever block is preventing you from making your most magical, magnetic, powerful, effective marketing. And this is whether it is a strategic, tactical, emotional, or mindset block. So we don't really distinguish because all of those things weigh 
weigh in. They weigh in. They're all important to our business and our marketing success. So in the squad, um, you get access to joining us on those two live Zoom calls, or if you can't make it live, you will get the replays plus a private YouTube feed of the entire archive and not just for the squad, but my archive of like every masterclass I've ever led. And you are also going to be able to submit your questions if you can't join us live, but still want me to answer it about your, your um, own business. You will also be able to hype each other up in a private Facebook group where we are all going to celebrate each other's wins and feed into each other's enthusiasm and be a safe and supportive place to share our our wild, delulu, audacious dreams. Because whenever one of us wins, all of us have that reinforced into our belief system that it is possible for us unconventional baddies to do it our way and win big. Also in the Facebook group, I am offering free copy editing. I'm not even joking. Usually you have to pay hundreds of dollars for me to do that for you, but for the squad, anything. So you can post whatever sales page, copy, blog strategies, like even marketing metric stuff you're struggling with in the Facebook group. And I'm going to get into the weeds of your actual business and answer it for all of you in the comments. And I will be checking that four days a week. And if you want even higher touch level of support and your own cheerleader in your back pocket, your own marketing director in your back pocket, there is a VIP tier where you and I can have a one-on-one private email or text thread where I will send you voice notes, I'll send you love, I will help you work through whatever you are grappling with in your business or your marketing so that you absolutely never feel like you're alone or flying blind or unsupported. So squad is open and ready to receive you. Welcome to the party. The link to join and get all the information you need about it is included in the show notes below. I also want to let you know about a free virtual masterclass I have coming up on Tuesday, January 2nd called how to massively speed up your marketing results, even on a tight budget. And in this free masterclass, we'll cover how to embrace a strategic leadership role for marketing without actually having to do all the marketing yourself. This one is for everybody feeling overwhelmed right now. Um, The link to register for free for that is in the show notes. And though I highly encourage you to attend live if you can so I can answer your questions, still sign up if you can't join us live so you can get those business wisdom mic drops on the replay. Finally, a huge thank you to Heather Hornan for a allowing me to use her cheerleading session for the podcast. And if you loved this episode and want to keep up with High Vibe Heather, definitely check out the show notes for how to follow her on Instagram. Um, She is High Vibe Heather on Instagram. I think there's a few periods in there. Anyway, check the show notes. It's linked in there. Um, Get on that website, work with her as soon as you can because she will change your life. And if you enjoyed this episode and would like to keep them coming, please show me some love by subscribing and dropping me some stars and a glowing reviews, mainly because it makes me feel great. And also mainly because I want more people to find this resource because I've heard tell y'all find it supportive. All right. Love you. Bye.